Now, CBS's SWAT is here for season six, and as always, they got big stuff planned for us this season, and it just keeps getting better. So I had a chance to talk with the leading man himself, Shamar Moore, who plays SWAT Sergeant Hondo, uh, to see who's really been doing all these stunts that we see every week. Okay, check it out. Shamar, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks for having me, sweetheart. Oh, I just anytime. said, I'm going to say it again, but I'm going to say it again for the world to hear. Girl, you look good this morning. I'm just, all right. Ask <laughs> well, me anything you, you want. Ask thank you. I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about season six of SWAT. How does it feel to come back for another dynamic, big season? Oh, I, 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 I pinched myself. I mean, we're back, baby. We're back. And, and I first, you know, I, I call my fans, my homies, my fans, and my baby girls. And I got to thank the fans for all the love and support uh, for SWAT. And, and for I've been doing this thing. I've been chasing this dream for 29 years, from Young and Restless to Criminal Minds, and now SWAT playing Daniel, Hondo, Harrelson, Mom. Here come that man. And uh, I, I pinch myself and, and I'm excited. Uh, six years in, we're worldwide, like literally. We're not just watched around the world. Uh, in six seasons, we've gone to Mexico twice. We went to Tokyo, Japan. And most recently, which you're gonna see in the premiere, we went. We, we go to Thailand, which is an incredible part of the world. Incredi and, it, and we went to the city, which is Bangkok city, which is iconic. And when you see it in real life, and then we went out to what's called the jungle, an area called Chiang Mai. And we're just LAPD SWAT somehow landed in Thailand and uh, somebody needed saving and we got we got out there and, and did what we do. So it's you're going to you're going to you're going to have a good time with this premiere. Absolutely. I, I saw the trailer. It looks amazing. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff happening. Are you doing your own stunts 24 seven? We do. We're, we're very vain. We're all, all the actors, all of the actors. And we're, we're all pretty athletic. You know, I grew up playing sports, so all of us do have stunt doubles. Um, there are certain things that we're not allowed to do by the studio and the network because we actually might die. To answer your <laughs> question, I, I do about I do about eighty percent of my own stuff. I'll I'll try to do all of it, and then the the, the stunt team and the studio will literally say, "Shamar, go sit your punk ass down somewhere," because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we gonna let this crazy dude over here who gets paid to hurt himself do this part. So. <laughs> Okay. So we do have and, a little help, but, but we are. And your out there French doing. bulldogs are adorable, I have to say. I've, I'm an animal lover. love the dogs. I've seen them before. I just like scroll it on Instagram. They are so cute. Yeah, yeah. Rocky and Tyson. Rocky and Tyson. This is my baby. <laughs> so I have to ask you I am a Midwest girl. So I'm from Northwest Indiana, around Chicago land. Uh, and recently I saw on your timeline on Instagram, you are you know, starting this whole, you've turned your backyard into a game for cornhole. Tell mm -hmm. me about that, because the SWAT team is there and you guys are like family. That has to, you know, bring y'all all together, right? We call, we call it the field of dreams, if you remember that movie with Kevin Costner. And there was, and in that movie, they said, if you build it, they will come. And it's, if you haven't seen Field of Dreams, then, you, then you've been living under a rock. We'll see the movie. But the premise is the same. So when, when COVID kicked in and we all got locked down, I had just bought this house, you know, I was blessed to buy a new home and, but it had no furniture in it, no nothing. Um, but it had, a, it's got a pool and a little half court basketball court. And, you know, it's got some fun stuff to do. So me and the homies, like there was nothing to do. Uh, you know, we just got locked down. Nobody really knew what COVID was. So people came over here and hung out. And then I turned on ESPN one day and all pro sports was shut down. And all they had was darts and cornhole. And I told my friends, I was like, yo, Beanbag is a professional sport. Who knew? And so we did We did some homework, did some homework. Then we bought some boards and we got some bags. We didn't know what we were doing. We started playing. And then we started getting a little better at it, better at it. And now fast forward, we're, we're really good friends with some of the best players in the world, the best professional players in the world. And so I took what was once a five-hole putting green in my backyard, ripped it all out, and built a legit professional cornhole arena in my backyard. And now we're partnered up with the, with the ACL, which is the American Cornhole League, like the NFL of cornhole. And so we have real tournaments for real money with the best players in the world right here in my backyard. I love it. You know, when I saw it, I was like, cornhole? Wait, sometimes in the Midwest, we call it cornhole or bags. I was like, what does Shamar know about some bags? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, hey, I'm nice. I'm not pro, but I'm all right. You know, a couple little drinky drinks. I can, I can get that bag all in the right. hole. I'm just saying. 
I, I gotta sign up for the next tournament. It looks like a good time. <laughs> I love it. It's a lot of fun. If you're ever yes. in LA, baby, I ain't I ain't I ain't BSing you. If you're ever in LA, come by. Come by right. have a drink and play some porno. All right. I'm a I'ma keep you to it. I'm gonna I'm hold right. you to that agreement. All right. <laughs> well, Shamar, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. And we will be watching out for season six of SWAT. It's going down. Thank you, love. <laughs>